Welcome to this short video on searching for open educational resources. A common frustration for many people wanting to use OER in their lesson or course designs is finding appropriate resources to use. While there are dedicated tools to achieve this, there is sadly no comprehensive listing where all OER are referenced. Being able to search for OER effectively is therefore a necessary skill if you're going to use them. In this video, we will investigate some of the techniques used to locate open education resources. First of all, we're going to have a look at some dedicated OER search tools. A very useful search tool is OER Commons, a digital content hub which includes good search tools. OER Commons' search looks through a data bank of peer-reviewed educational resources. The easiest way to get start is to use the search field at the top of the screen, uh, uh, put in a search term, and uh, in this case I'm looking for algebra resources, and you can see it's brought back 2,402 uh, results. Um, so it makes sense that we would like to refine these results and if you look on the left you can see that you, this can be done uh, according to subject area education level material type and so on um, of interest though is conditions of use once we open this up we can see that there are a number of different ways of sorting the results according to license uh, look at the second one there, Remix and Share. Uh, this would normally point to um, a Creative Commons license such as CC BY or CC BY SA. Um, you do need to be careful though that in OER Commons, amongst these results, you'll see there is also a collection of fully copyrighted materials which have been included here because they can be used under the Fair Use Agreement uh, in the US. If you want more control, uh, then use the OER Commons Advanced Search. Uh, click on the, the link at the bottom of the search field. And um, what happens now is that you've basically got two ways of using the Advanced Search. One is to use the top search which I normally find is sufficient otherwise you can uh, use additional search criteria in the box below uh, right we're looking for algebra so uh, we'll put in the search term and um, in this instance uh, we are going to make sure that it is actually part of mathematics and statistics uh, let's pretend that we are looking for something for high school students and what is the license that we're actually looking for? In this case, we want to have no strings attached. We want it to be as open as possible. And then we can say search. The search results have been filtered using those criteria. And you can see now it's down to 53 results versus the 2000 we had previously. Um, if you want to refine it further, again, you have some criteria that you can select on the left-hand side. Another dedicated search tool for OERs is provided by Creative Commons. In order to get there, though, you'll have to use the URL. So there it is, search.creativecommons.org. And you can see that they offer you the ability to search multiple media sites. Where can you find OERs that are images or music or video and so on? Um, Flickr, for example, would be a great place to find photographs. YouTube, of course, videos. And there's even Google there for a general web search. In this segment, we're going to look at using a regular search engine. Uh, in this instance, we're going to use Google's advanced search. Google also allows us to search for specific OERs. In order to do that though, and filter by license, you do need to use their advanced search. And to get there, you'll have to navigate to this URL, google.com 
forward slash advanced underscore search. Um, just as with any normal search, you will need to put in some search terms. I'm going to continue the search for algebra resources. Uh, the other items there you can fill in if you want, but what we are particularly interested in is this last field, which is called usage rights. At the moment, you can see the default setting is not filtered by license. So we're going to adjust that. There are four other options, free to use or share, free to use or share even commercially, free to use, share or modify, free to use, share or modify even commercially. And we're going to go for that last one that seems to be the most open of the licenses. And you'll now see that there is an advanced search button. We're going to select that and see what our results are. We'll get past the Google Ads at the top and have a look at the first few items. And you can see that they're pulling uh, the first couple of resources from Wikipedia, which we uh, know now that all Wikipedia entries have been licensed with a Creative Commons license. Often people are too impatient or have forgotten where the specialized OER and advanced search tools are. So it is possible to use the regular Google search page too. Uh, this method is a bit of a hack and the results can be varied. So you need to check the resource results before making a selection. Here's a regular Google page. This one is picking up the fact that I'm in South Africa but all the national versions of Google operate the same way. Um, first of all, I'm going to look specifically for algebra again, but because Google's reach is so broad, I'm going to try and be a little bit more precise, and I'm going to look for algebra notation resources. The hack, though, is to include two additional words in your search term criteria. Uh, the two words are creative and commons. So in this instance, I'm searching for algebra, notation, creative commons. The results that are returned, sure enough, pick up the words algebra and notation uh, in the source, but they're also picking up the fact that there are the words creative and commons. Now this works for us simply because the creative commons licenses are always stipulated somewhere on the page, normally at the bottom. And so what Google's doing is it's finding these licenses inadvertently by searching for those terms. Here's one of those results. Uh, this particular one comes from OpenStax and it's on advanced algebra and it's explaining function notation. If we scroll to the bottom of the page, there we can see the Creative Commons license. So that's the words Creative and Commons that Google picked up. Uh, this particular method only really works if you understand fully what it is that you're looking for and also what the licenses mean once you find them. Uh, there's no filtering. It is rather a very rough uh, way of identifying open resources. And that concludes our short video. We hope that you found those different uh, search techniques useful. Uh, remember, you've got your dedicated tools, you've got your advanced search and regular search engines, and we've even given you a hack as well. Um, Let's hope you find those OERs.